In January, I had the pleasure of announcing the 2014 winners of the Grow 1000 <coughs> Community Garden Grant Program. This uh, application process was very competitive. We had a strong set of applicants from across the country, mayors and cities, and Miramar was just one of five cities that won this year. So give yourselves a big round of applause. We're big believers in trying to share and help communities. I like the idea of seasoned adults you. with younger adults. You guys look at the grass out there? Oh. That is some nasty looking grass. Yeah. Don't you think the grass needs to be better here? Yes, I do. Yeah. Don't you think that Scott should give a little more money? Yeah. 16, not 40. Good morning. It's pretty cool getting money for the grass, don't you think? Yeah. Uh, Jim, you're welcome to come anytime you want. Is there any other areas that we think need improvement? Well, just go take the tour. <laughs> but what a great honor it is to be here on behalf of the, yes, on behalf of the city of Miramar to be a recipient of the 2014 Grow 1000 Garden and Green Space Grant Award by the U.S. Conference of Mayors and Scott's Miracle Grow. As you can see, that grant is going to make a phenomenal difference for our garden, and we are so excited. And um, we're thrilled as a city and our residents, and particularly for the many members of the garden who don donate their time and sweat equity to the garden. Five, four. Three, yeah. two, one. one. Yeah. We are so proud to receive this grant. And then with the sponsorship of Scott's, not only providing us grant monies, they also provide us supplies that we need to make this a community garden that will be very successful. And that's the whole point. It's a community garden where the community comes together. Our garden volunteers here are so excited and so happy to know that others care so much more and care so much that they will give uh, that additional money, an additional $20,000 this morning uh, for the work that they do and to assist them in growing our garden. Thank you, Miracle Grow. Thank you, staff, and, and thank you to the volunteers and the kids that are out here today. We've been working on this for four years. A lot of hard work has gone into this. Elsie Rose has definitely been a champion for the garden. and. And now, with the Scotts Grant, we're going to be able to expand. Today's a dream come true. Our members have been waiting for this, and they have been dreaming about this. When Mayor Mosley told me about this grant opportunity, and she said, Elsie, what about looking at, into writing a grant for this opportunity? It was so easy because all the dreams from our members came true. We just put it together. We had dreamt about a fruit grove, about raised beds, about doing a seedling nursery, all of these things that we need. We were ready to expand. So this came at the perfect time. For us, doing community gardens is about sort of helping communities sort of do what we do, you know, which is which is to garden and to enjoy nature. You kids can all get out and garden? Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys want to garden? There's a lot of good ideas out there. All this leads to sustainability. The more education you get alongside a grant, then you're able to um, spend that money wisely. It's easy to spend money, but to make it sustainable, you want the education and the vision to look forward on what you're doing and how to spend it wisely and how to incorporate and engage the neighborhood and your community, whoever that community might be, whether it's the seniors, the kids, uh, your neighbors, um, everybody that's involved with the garden. And it's also an opportunity to get new people involved. So talking about the garden, reaching out into the neighborhood, and um, asking people how they might be interested. With the Scotts Grant, we were able to expand the irrigation here. We will be doing um, orchards here. Maybe we will do some hydroponics. It gives us a whole lot of space to do a whole lot more and as we do a whole lot more, um, the members of the gardens grow, 
and those are the individuals that join as members and there's also somebody who doesn't have as much time so maybe if you don't have as much time maybe you want to become a friend of the garden so they call themselves mogs and fogs and they're just a great group of people who love what they do we have grown to four master gardeners we have about 37 members we have a chef so this group and we have a couple of educators so this group is ready to go and uh, we can't wait to build the second and third phases of the garden which will have an outdoor classroom and we're already starting to think and possibly a hydroponic station. The Grow 1000 program is one we started in 2011 and we have made a commitment to support and create a thousand community gardens and green spaces in the US, Canada and Europe. 2018 is our 150th anniversary of the company so our chairman and CEO Jim Hagrid made this commitment to support gardens and we're also working with the US Conference of Mayors, Plant a Row for the Hungry, Franklin Park Conservatory and Botanical Gardens and the National Gardening Association to help work with cities, find great projects where we can come in and just get more access to residents for green spaces, gardens, and really be a part of this whole community garden movement. I mean, that's what's taking place in Miramar, and it's just really incredible with the students from Fairway Elementary and the seniors in the community working together, learning about gardening. I mean, that's what it's really all about. When we looked at this project, um, we were really impressed with the intergenerational component. You'll have you know, young students who are learning how to garden for the first time and seniors who can share their wisdom. And we haven't really done a project like that before. So we were really impressed with that um, and with the mayor's enthusiasm and her engagement in helping to start this garden. Because it's a perfect location. Um, we're located right next to Fairway Elementary and on the site is the um, after school program and the preschool program. Captive audience. Yeah, and we're very much proponents. Um, we have a phenomenal senior community. Okay. So the seasoned members of our community and the youth of our community will benefit together. Because I find that the youth is um, a whole lot more advanced than we are in yeah. recycling and planting and organics. And then the yeah. seniors can advise them how to cook with it, um, the recipes of their family. And the techniques for growing. Yes, and, so and it's those, so exciting. It's just been phenomenal to see this group of people come together. Um, you know, you have adults, you have the kids like Esteban who won his award today, and they're all coming together and they're planting together and they're growing together and they're teaching each other. And it just forms um, a sense of community and it forms lifetime friendships that, uh, you know, that it's just nothing else like that. Uh, and then the bonus is they get all the produce and they get the food and it's nice, fresh, healthy food. So that's just the, the topping on the, on the cake. I am so excited. I am here this morning with Naraya and Miss Hafner from Fairway Elementary School and their fifth grade class did something really special for this garden. They made the sign that says, thank you, Mayor Mosley, U.S. Conference of Mayors, and Scott's Grow. They built a bird bath and a flower garden here in the garden, and you are continuing to educate the students. We came out here one day after school, and volunteers from the garden taught us about the Florida native wildflowers and the different um, edible plants that they have, and they gave us free samples to taste and it was really exciting. So we were able to put the names of the different flowers on stones and we made an art project and a bird bath and a bird house. So the students learned a lot and it was really exciting. I get to do the fun part and that's talk about the Give Back to Grow Youth Gardener Award. Uh, since we started this program, this is all about getting our young people engaged with nature and getting them outdoors through gardening. Um, I've been fortunate across the U.S. To, to talk to several inspiring youth like Esteban who have won these awards. Uh, it showcases the hard work and passion of our nation's young people at each of our signature cities. These award winners exemplify our philosophy of sharing and giving back to the community. The honor highlights those who have demonstrated leadership and environmental awareness by using gardening to improve their school environment, their public space, and their community. I would like to recognize one of our high school students who's been an important part of the Miramar Community Garden. Her name is Anastasia White. I want to thank Scott's Miracle Grove for bestowing this honor on my daughter. She was so excited to be able to participate in a volunteer program through Hands on Broward here in her own community. 
So it's been quite an honor and for her to be able to give back to her community. The winner of the Youth Gardener Award is Esteban Vianda. Hello, my name is Esteban. I have been a volunteer at the garden since I was four years old. My favorite parts of being a volunteer is making mud and eating the garden food. Thank you for giving me this award and I would also like to thank my mom for bringing me. Esteban is a perfect example of what happens when you bring a child to the garden early. You know, kids naturally love to get their hands in the soil and the dirt and play. And, I, and my understanding is that's how Esteban started, by making the mud uh, to plant the seeds in. Uh, and then once you see those seeds sprout, uh, he started tasting the vegetables. Uh, he learned how to harvest the vegetables. Uh, you know, he has a twist and pull method so it doesn't harm the rest of the plant. So it's teaching him how to respect um, growing things and respect the environment and how to protect it. And now I understand he's teaching other kids what to do in the garden and how to plant and how to harvest and, and uh, that it's okay to taste vegetables and, and they might actually like them. I was just told that we have our, our oldest member of the Miramar Community Garden here, Poppy. Poppy, who is 90. If we can take a moment and get all three generations in the garden, it's awesome. It's great because you're you are you're you're making new memories. You're sharing older memories, and you've given this up. We're all slowing down a minute and getting in the garden and enjoying family time away from the videos. The mayor doesn't have to do the gardening. There are people in the community that are dying for this to happen in their community. And their enthusiasm is contagious. And there are so many professionals in the community that you don't know are here. And there are professional gardeners come out, um, people that used to plan, or people that used to have farms, or people that have condos. But There's the such a need for this. It's very fulfilling as the mayor. You guys are embarking on what is a really cool journey. What I like to see, um, my background is community garden, gardening all throughout the nation. What I like to see is I like to see the kids involved in this. The, 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 the best outdoor classroom you can have is a garden. So I hope that you guys use it just to have fun. Take ownership of it. You know, when you plant those plants, come back and harvest them. This is going to be as much yours as anybody's. And it's so cool to see the older generation working with them because there's so much you can teach them and you can also learn a lot from them too. We're so excited to be showing the mayor of Pembroke Pines our garden here in the city of Miramar, Mayor Frank Gordis. And we are so happy that he came over to see our beautiful garden. Absolutely a pleasure. And we're really excited because now we're building some raised beds. So it is easier for um, anyone of any age who does not want to bend down and get on the ground, there'll be raised beds for them to plant in. been in my brain to build and I finally got to build. I tried to go to where a wheelchair can fit on the sides and anyone else can stand perfectly high. Some will be used for the children, some will be used, you know, as education, others will be used as, as plot holders. <laughs> all right. All right. Yay. I grow gardens too, but all my gardens I donate all the fresh produce to food pantries. I produced uh, 3,923 pounds last year, and the year before that it was 3,162 pounds. This year is gonna be 4,555 pounds. Um, everything we produce all goes to different food pantries that uh, donate the produce to people, and that's what I want. I want people to have fresh produce, not produce coming from grocery stores that are out of date. I want fresh produce put at the food pantries. Talk to my plants. They like carbon dioxide. So you must breathe on your plants. They like it. It makes them grow better. And then I grow, I raise rabbits. And I use the rabbit manure for my gardens. My rabbits probably eat mo better than most people. Because they eat all my scraps from the garden. Thank you. You're welcome. Lemonade is the base. Uh -huh. Lime. Lime. Pineapple, banana, carrot, apple, Bananas. kale. I'm so excited um, to be here today, to be here with the seniors and the youth of Fairway and the volunteers from Scotts and U.S. Conference of Mayors. What a phenomenal day this is for Miramar. Because the way to go is, uh, many people, is to grow your own. 
foods and vegetables and to go to the farmer's market. Uh, it's so funny how that's kind of cyclical. You know, like 60 or 70 years ago at least, that's what everybody did. And then we all got away from that. And now we're realizing the way to go is natural, um, to grow our own and to be organic. And what better way to do that right in your own backyard? When the recession hit, um, people, you know, they went to the grocery store and they saw a pepper is two dollars. Well, I can buy a pack of pepper seeds for two dollars and grow tons of peppers for the whole season. So there's been a great increase in home gardening. Um, there's also a great um, increase in the knowledge about food access um, and kids um, not having access to foods, living in food deserts. Um, so. You know, a lot of teachers have taken note of this and they've fought to bring gardens to their schools and to show kids, um, teach them where their, their food comes from, basically. There's such a need for people to be able to grow their own fruits, to grow their own vegetables, and a lot of people like to get their hands dirty. One, it's therapeutic, but it's good for the food chain. So you have a little bit of a mental health break from your day. Uh, it just gets you out, it gets you moving, even if you're just digging a few holes or you're doing some weeding. Um, and then, of course, you're growing good, healthy food, and you know where it comes from. Uh, you control what went into growing that food. So you know you have a pepper or a tomato that doesn't have chemicals or pesticides. Um, and, and when you grow it, and especially when kids grow it themselves and they taste it and they eat it, uh, they become fans for life. There are so many benefits to gardening. There's the ability to just get outside and get active. And then also nutritionally. These are vegetables are so good for your your nutrition and your diet and what a great way to eat local grow local you kind of know what's going into you you're putting into yourself because you've grown it yourself and then also you get the aspect of just the sense of community so when you have seniors working side by side with students information and knowledge and garden wisdom is being passed along and that's just so important it's true movement it's been a real pleasure to work with Mayor Lori Mosley and the folks here in the city, all the partners, to do the expansion for the intergenerational fruit and vegetable garden. I want to thank all the City of Miramar staff who typically when I come up with crazy ideas they make me look good. Um, <laughs> but they make me look good because um, they put their heart and soul into what they do. So thanks to the community services staff, the public work staff, um, to the community development staff, to Miramar Catering, and anybody who was breathing in Miramar was watching us as we would get so excited for this event. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for all that you do. The city of Miramar was absolutely a great host. They um, welcomed us with open arms, and they were so excited about the grant and so excited about this project and so eager to listen and learn. Today was really exciting for me. We love it when um, Jim Hagedorn, our CEO, is able to come and he got to meet the mayor. And then it's always special when you know, he decides to give an extra grant on top of what we've already done to the city. And um, seeing the excitement from the kids and, and receiving that and from the mayor, it's just it's exciting for us. City of Miramar and Mayor Mosley, we are very proud that you've welcomed us into your community and your neighborhood. We are very excited to see the growth that's going to continue here at the Miramar Community Garden and all of the, the students we met today and the seniors. We're very happy to, to start that relationship and have it continue. Thank you to the U.S. Conference of Mayors and to Scott's Miracle Grow for helping make this happen.